With the release of the new PS5, a lot of cool new games have come out. Spider-Man Mars Morales, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. <laughs> wow. You're certified bug free. Take this and remember the dosage. Two weeks now, and another two in an hour. Now they all sound really cool, but the problem with AAA games these days is that they're so expensive. How can one person afford all three of those games for their new console that they just spent £450 on? <sighs> oh, I know. They could steal the money from me. Hi everyone, my name's Brody, otherwise known as Knockout Wolf, and a couple weeks ago, somebody managed to get onto my PlayStation account and buy the new Assassin's Creed, the new Spider-Man, the new Call of Duty, and for some reason the PES 2021 season pass. Why? These four things totaled £199.96p. In today's current pandemic climate, that's $266.88. I didn't spend that money. That wasn't me. So on the 19th of November, I was just sat in a Discord call with my friends when I opened my emails and saw four emails from PlayStation saying thank you for your purchase. At first I thought, hmm, what did I buy from PlayStation? And then my heart sank as I realized I hadn't been on my PlayStation 4 in about two months. It was the release date of the PS5 here in the UK. Already a bad sign. So I opened the first email, which had been sent to me about 15 minutes before I saw it. It had my full name on, my username, and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS4 and PS5 for £49.99 and then my card details underneath. And that's the moment I kind of shat pant a little bit. I clicked through each one from Spider-Man to Assassin's Creed to Call of Duty to the, the Pro Evolution Soccer Season Pass. What, what, what? The why? The eFootball PES 2021 season update Arsenal edition. Oh, it wasn't a season pass. It was like a season update Arsenal edition of the game. I, I guess Pez aren't doing so well for themselves anymore because it only costs 30 pound. So straight away I start freaking out. I'm like, I gotta call the bank. I gotta cancel my card. I gotta try and cancel the transactions. I gotta try and get this person out of my PlayStation account. But at which point I'm thinking, if they've hacked into my PlayStation account and bought 200 pounds worth of games, surely they've changed my password and kicked me out so I can't get back on my account. They didn't do that. They, they, they forgot to change the password. So I just logged in and changed it and kicked them out. <laughs> Imagine being good enough to be able to hack into someone's PlayStation account, buy all these things, and then forget to change the password. Now you might be thinking, well, this person obviously bought all this stuff on your card to send to their account so they could download it on their account. Nope, they bought it all for my account for me to download and me only. <laughs> the what? So I'm guessing their intention was to go onto my account, buy some things, make sure there was money on my card so they could buy games and then change the password and reclaim it as their own account. But I literally just signed in on the website, changed my password and they were gone. That, that, that was it. But that was only half the problem because 200 pound was still missing from my bank account and I didn't have a huge amount of money in there and rent was due in a few days time. And sure, I loved the Spider-Man game. I really want to play Miles Morales, but I'd already bought Cold War. I don't really fancy pillaging villages and uh, doing bad things to people in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Why do people love Vikings? They were not good. Uh, okay, I've just found out you can pick up cats in Valhalla. So I'm back on board. <laughs> but the worst part of the whole thing wasn't the fact that somebody hacked into my PlayStation account. Wasn't the fact that somebody had spent £200 of my money. Wasn't the fact that they'd bought games that I couldn't afford to really buy. It was the fact that they bought Pro Evolution Soccer in the year 2020. What the fuck? Now as somebody who doesn't care about football at all, I don't understand why people buy FIFA every year, but I guess the same could be said for Call of Duty and things, even though it's not just a game of football on the same pitch year after year after year after year. But I can at least appreciate the people like FIFA, but Pro Evolution Soccer? What, you, you hacked into someone else's account to buy Pro Evolution Soccer in the year 2020. As if 2020 hasn't been bad enough for you. So this is on the 19th of November still. I call up my bank. I wait. And 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 I wait. After 30 minutes of waiting, I finally get through to a very lovely person at my bank. This is what happened. Yes, yeah, so the hacker bought four things up to the price of... £199.96, pence. yes, I can see that now, Brody. Right, what we're going to do now is forward you onto the security team. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks, great. There will be a little bit of a wait, uh, but we'll forward all the information on so they know the situation so you don't have to repeat yourself, okay. So then I had to wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, 
And when finally, after almost an hour of me calling the bank, I get put through to the security team. Hello, I'm a different person now, as you can tell by my voice. Thank you for your patience. Could I take a note of your name, please? Oh yeah, hi, it's, uh, it's Brody. Otherwise known as Knockout Wolf. Okay, Brody, so if you could explain exactly what happened. Ah! Okay, so going forward with game consoles, I would suggest not putting your car details on console. Instead, using gift cards. It's a bit more messing, but it's a bit easier. I'm not sure what accent this is either. Gee, thanks, Captain Hindsight. Oh, wait, wait, what? I just lost two hundred pounds, and then like, maybe you should, maybe you should pay with gift cards in the future. Well, obviously, I know that now. Okay, Brody. So I've spoken to the manager, and because you do already have a relationship with PlayStation, and it was your car details that were used, PlayStation would have to confirm that your account was actually hacked before we'd cancel anything. Have you tried contacting PlayStation? I have tried. I've emailed them and not had a response yet. And I did call, but the lines are busy because uh, they released a new console today, which is the first console in like seven years. So it's probably their busiest day since like 2013. Oh, oh yes, I have heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna have to contact PlayStation, unfortunately. I, I, okay, yeah, but the transactions are still pending. So can we not just just stop them before they leave my account? No, no, you're gonna have to contact PlayStation, pet. So she goes off and she talks to her manager and she comes back and she basically tells me. We can't do anything about it. Sorry? So it's after an hour of being on the phone to my bank instead of PlayStation, who in the meantime I've been emailing and tweeting at and just trying to get through to the support. And she tells me they can't cancel the transactions and I need to talk to PlayStation. Because apparently PlayStation would see that I've bought stuff from them in the past and just be like, well yeah, that was obviously a real purchase. Can we, can we not just explain to other human beings the situation? Okay, is everything automatic these days? That's an hour of my life I would never get back, and so I head onto the PlayStation support website. It is hell. The PlayStation support website is hell. I don't know if any of you have seen the American Horror Story season coven, where basically if the characters die, they have their own personalized hell that they live in for the rest of eternity. This was mine. I don't know how this bastard that hacked my account was clever enough to do it on the launch day of the PS5, when they knew that the PlayStation support would be overwhelmed with calls and requests, but weren't smart enough to change my password. They probably weren't even thinking that. I'm guessing they just bought a PS5 and they were like, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't got enough money for any games now. I guess I'll go, go on Instagram and get someone to hack an account for me. So here we are on the PlayStation support website. I thought I would show you firsthand the issues I was having. Oh my God, I was having issues. So you may be thinking, hey, I probably need a refund. Okay, here we go. We got account and security. Well, I've already gone on that and I've changed my password. So my account's secure now. It's got two-factor authentication on. Un unbreakable. We've got games, hardware and repairs, connectivity, subscriptions. None of these seem to uh, seem to help my PS Store and refunds. That, that'll be it. Let's have a look. Let's click on that. So here we are at PS Store and refunds on the PlayStation support website. So let's scroll down, scroll down. First of all, there's an option down here for find a charge you didn't make. But when you go onto the unauthorized charges page, it just assumes that it was a subscription you forgot about renewing or a, a family member had access to the account or the card had maybe been charged twice. It gives you details on how to get your account back if it has been compromised, but none of that helped me. So we go on to requesting a PS Store refund. Let's click here. Games and add-ons, there we go. So, so they bought four games, so we need to go here. So to request a refund for this type of content, that please contact us. Okay, let's hit this contact us thing. Ah, we're taking to a contact form. Just the way the website should work. Tell you what it didn't do on the day that I had 200 pound taken out of my bank account. Go to the contact form. I cannot tell you how many times I clicked on that contact us form and it just took me back to the starting page of PlayStation support. It's just taking me here. I want a refund. <laughs> Give me a refund. You have 40 days to purchase, request a refund. If you start, you'll not be eligible for refund unless the content is faulty. Oh, they probably start downloading it, fuckers. Probably, probably not all of it though. Oh, it just sends you in a fucking circle. Oh my God, we were going round and round and round and round again, and I just could not get to any form of contact. I found a contact number, I rang that, and they said, if you don't have an issue with the PlayStation 5 or PSVR, go to the website. No options about refunds or anything like that. 
go to the PlayStation website. The PlayStation website was sending me in circles. Seeing this form actually pop up when you hit contact us feels like a, a form of a therapy, a, a bit of closure. But finally, I managed to find this PlayStation support chat link thing. So you could go on and you'd wait in the queue and finally it would get you in touch with somebody who you could just type to instead of being on the phone. I waited for almost half an hour to get to the bottom of that queue. About 150 people were ahead of me. I waited patiently. I kept it open. I was getting closer to PlayStation support. I could almost taste it. I'm getting down the queue. I'm in the last 10 people. It's approximating two minutes before I can talk to a support team member. And the and, and it says there's no one available. The, the, timer, the timer went down and it said there was no one available. What are the other 150 people ahead of me in the queue been doing? Surely I wasn't waiting in a queue where 150 people before me were just being told there was no one there to take their request. Like, it, it wouldn't have taken half an hour for that to happen, surely. So I try again. Another half an hour, I get to the bottom of the queue, and the same thing happens. So I go to the PlayStation support Twitter account, and see other people complaining about this, and I reply to them like, hey, I kind of have a bit of an emergency. A uh, 200 pound has left my account unauthorized. And they don't respond for hours, even though they're responding to people saying, I can't log in on my PlayStation 4. And they say, have you changed your password? Oh yeah, that was yeah, I changed my password. They were just replying to people who had the tiniest little issues that they could have fixed in like two minutes by looking on the website. Finally, they reply and they say, follow us so we can send you a direct message. I see what you're doing. Trying to get free clout. That's sneaky. That's, that's real sneaky. I had my DMs open anyway, but I wasn't going to fuck around. I just followed them and I was like, okay, I followed you. You can message me now. Please message me now. Please help. They, they didn't DM me. Late that night, I managed to finally find this form, but it was after Googling so many things, going through so many different PlayStation support links before I found it. And when I did find it, I put in all of the order numbers, all the information, said my account had been compromised and needed a refund, blah, 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 blah. Because as I mentioned before, the PlayStation 5 came out that day. It, it had to, didn't it? it? It just had to. Remember the Twitter account from before that were meant to message me? Well, after I'd filled out this form, they did message me finally the next morning with the same form. And I was like, I've already done that and I've had no response and it, this is kind of urgent. <laughs> in the meantime, I spoke to my family and they suggested I cancel my card just in case. So I go to my bank, cancel my card and hopefully no other unauthorized transactions will leave my account. Next day, almost 24 hours later, I get an email back saying we have refunded all of the purchases to your card. <laughs> oh my god, that was, a, that was a stressful 24 hours. There was so much time waiting on hold and hearing different voice messages saying We apologize for any delays getting you in contact with it. All seems well. I have my PlayStation account back and I've been refunded. You would think that would be the end of the saga. But oh no, they refunded it to my card, the one I just cancelled. Back to the contact form! So I contact them again, and I say that the money's been sent back to my old card, which has now been cancelled. Again, for the rest of the day, no response. I found a number for the PlayStation security team, I think it was, and I called them up, and every time I did, they said their lines were too busy and I couldn't get put through to anyone and to try again later on. I tried again, and 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 again. There's no one here to take your call. There's no one here to take your call. Sorry, all of our operators are busy. Too busy. Too much going on right now. Sorry, we can't put you through to anybody to help you. And then I thought, hmm, what if some people go on lunch break at 12 and then come back at one? I called them back at one minute past one, and let me tell you, I've never been so relieved to sit through 45 minutes of call center hold music before. I finally get through to someone, and here's what happens. From third floor, also wearing the exact same outfit as me, with the same hairstyle. Like, th there's so many clothes in this one. Hang on a second, I got a cool thing. Just... Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, so a couple days ago, somebody compromised my PlayStation account. <laughs> and now I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to get the refund because the card's been cancelled. Oh, right, okay. All right, okay. Uh, now... Uh, what I need from you is uh, is for you to spend the next 10 minutes giving me all the information you already gave us in an email, please, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, lovely. So I, I've had a look, and basically you'll still get the money because it goes back into your bank account and not your card. So so need not worry. It'll just take about three to five working days to appear in your bank. Okay, Brody. Wow. Gee, thanks, PlayStation support. What a painless three days this has been. So yeah, after almost an hour of my life spent on the phone again, I get told something they could have told me over an email in about 20 seconds. <sighs> Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's definitely, it's, it's fine. A few hours later, I get an email saying the exact same thing. Oh! But it didn't matter, because I'd finally got my money back. <laughs> Fuck you, whoever took my PlayStation account. You ain't getting your games. You ain't getting my account. I've got my money back. All it did was waste three days of my life. I'm, I'm starting to think you won this one. So that's the saga. I, I guess the lesson of this story is... Um... <sighs> trying to think. Oh yeah, use, use gift cards. <laughs> don't, don't put your card on your PlayStation. Use gift cards. So there you go. I just wanted to share my story with you. I didn't want all of that time of my life wasted for nothing. If you enjoyed the video, you might as well hit that like button. And subscribe if you haven't yet, I guess. And... I live, I live stream too. I live stream Twitter as well. I've got a Twitter account. That's... Okay, bye! <laughs>